good as hell, boy. What looks good as hell? It's a little salty caramel brownie Oreo. Oh, why are you looking at Oreos right now? Boy, hungry as hell. <laughs> so then, I know keto boy right here, bro. Can you make a keto Oreo? Keto? Keto. Okay. Matter of fact, make a keto fried Oreo. That's keto the fried That's the Oreo. That's the swag. That tops the chicken wings, possibly. I could try. <laughs> <laughs> Multiple piece, what are we talking about? So I guess I'm making fried Oreos, guys, but I'm making the keto version. Carl and I are somewhat keto, but I would not say we're actually keto. We just like to eat a lot of keto things, low carb. Um, and we have found a lot of hacks. We have an amazing fried chicken hack if you guys want me to share. But today I'm gonna try this fried Oreo hack. It may or may not work. Um, I actually haven't tried to make these yet. This is a company that we like though. This is their pancake and waffle mix, which is how we make our fried Oreos. These are some keto Oreos. We have regular and peanut butter. I'm gonna try both. I got some Swerve or some Lacanto. I actually don't know how it's pronounced. Lacanto? Lacanto? Lacanto. Whatever. So, I'm gonna just try. We're just gonna go. And I do miss you guys, it's been a while. I am just so upset that I have not been consistent because YouTube is one of my favorite platforms. It's one of my favorite things to post. I love premiering videos for you guys, but um, I've been working on a lot of big projects and I can't wait to share. Maybe when I get 500,000 subscribers, I will have a special announcement on one of my businesses out of many that I'm starting. Big uh, announcement. Yeah, we have sound effects too. <laughs> All right, um, okay, so let's go for it. This has 10 servings per container. I don't really care. I don't care at all. The thing about keto, if you're used to the real deal, it's not ever gonna be the same. But sometimes you can hack the system. So being that I haven't made this, I'm gonna need to preheat my griddle slash pan, but we're not making, whatever. So I got some uh, oil. I'm gonna just put it in the, in the pan for now. Perfect, got just the right amount. I normally cook with, um, there's a keto blend oil that's like avocado oil and olive oil. Oh wait, the keto blend is right here. So, for y'all looking for something nice. This is nice because it has a high heating point, which is important. You don't realize a lot of oils that you're using that aren't supposed to be heated to a certain temperature actually can emit bad chemicals and stuff. So, look into it, don't take my word, but just FYI. One half cup of pancake mix into the bowl. How much is in here? Uh, this is, okay, this, this is a little bit trickier than I thought. The thing is when I cook, I don't really measure. I just go for it. But in this case, I have to, cause it's keto. I would love the company. Come on. Make it more nice. shot? No, no, no. What made you use coconut oil instead? It's part of the recipe. Mm. Okay. Honestly. Period. Period. <laughs> it's not <laughs> even. It's not even my doing. What do you think is one like Olympic like event that you never thought you would like to watch? You wouldn't watch normally, but because it's the Olympics, you watch and you're like, that shit's hell. Of I um, love synchronized diving. That was cool. That's like one of my but A new one or the one that's already The ones that are there now. Oh. Like I don't count skateboarding because we have the X Games and, and like the Winter Games. X so Games you know, like, mode. <laughs> yeah, right. You know what I had a lot of fun watching when I was getting PT? Um, uh, archery. Okay. Archery. Archery was pretty cool. Axe those. Axe You know what we don't have? Are the vanilla. X-Shot? Yeah, I think it's in the car. Is it? I'll go grab it. It's right here. 
I'll do anything for you. You let me know it's done. <laughs> so much to ask for, guys. <laughs> Y'all want anything? You want a car? Or go get a car, bro. For what? What? What kind of car? Man, whatever, man. If you got an R in it, it's probably the right one. Bloop, 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 bloop. At this point, I'm just bullshitting the the recipe. I'm going with kind of what they say, but I don't have the right measuring cups here. So. This is three tablespoons unsweetened almond milk. Ancestors told me, y'all know. They extracted the vanilla. <laughs> you extracted it? <laughs> Did you know where vanilla flavoring comes from? <laughs> Wait, is this a real question or is this something you're just saying? No, I saw it on TikTok. Uh, what the fuck? Everyone hears everything from TikTok. No, that's just me. <laughs> <laughs> that's so nasty. I don't think all vanilla comes from that though. From Bieber eyes? Oh god. Mm. Oh, okay. From the nationalgeographic.com, so this is official, official. The FDA regards castor castorium as natural flavoring. Just in time for holiday cookie season, we've discovered that the vanilla flavoring in your baked goods and candy could come from the anal exertions of beavers i told y'all beavers ass that's gross but it's good but it's so good. <laughs> all right i'm gonna show you what this looks like it's a little thick I, it's keto so i don't know what it's supposed to look like show us wow and I, that, I mashed potatoes it, it looks good to me <laughs> nice i made work. it a little lighter too because i added more milk than i was supposed to but that's just Hey, you know what you feel is right. Go how you feel. I'm gonna heat the oil now. Okay, so I'm gonna go with this texture and see how it works for the first one. And if it don't work nicely, then we can either lighten it up or start over. So we kind of just and if y'all want a real fried Oreo video, not a keto version, we can do that as well. We're just kind of on our, our health grind right now, so. I will say an editor note is you've made me fried Oreos before during the season. It was for my birthday, right? It was around that time my birthday, right? I think we were just chilling in Minnesota. Yeah, and you made them and they were like, what? She could've went to the Minnesota State Fair with them things. They were so good. Oh my god. Not that? everybody knows how to cook. Hey that? listen, if you can make enough money for yourself as a woman, go get yourself a chef for you and your man, then I mean, you know, for shout you? out to you. So the girls gotta take care of the men now? That's what it is? Damn! Yeah, what do we get? To get I'm the shit. I'm still Kino we all cook, I don't know. Hey, you know, bro, <laughs> man, pack y'all out here, bro. Chucky be cooking, so. Chucky do be cooking. We should do a cooking video. Shout out to him. Yeah, that's true. And we Chucky really should do a cooking video, too. What should we yeah, try well, to cook? I want to have more time. Well. Some a Filipino native dish though. Lumpia. Shout out to Rick Owens. Sinigam. This dope ass jacket. Chicken adobo. Jordan. Spaghetti. Jordan. Jordan. <laughs> Spaghetti with hot dog. Jordan. Right, here we go. This jacket's tough. Okay, okay I'm gonna just here goes it. Wait, wait. It's cool. Uh, hold, hold, hold up. Let's you want, see. You wanna get a sizzling in the pot? You feel? You use a phone. You wanna get a nice like food network? This might actually hit. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Is that a better? I don't I, I can whip some up real quick. It smells good. It smells great. Okay. It's keto, guys. And vice versa. For sure. The energy you give me is the energy I give you. We need to talk about that. Yeah. I'm definitely a matching energy type of person. For sure. I can't get you a green crop Birkin right now, but. Give me a green crop Birkin. There's not even another one out there to find. 
So you know what I, I might have burned that a little. You think you burned it a little bit? Damn! I'll eat it. I eat it from the back. Smells like eggplant. Eggplant. Very ad friendly, he feels me. Oh. Yo, how would fried Oreos be with truffle oil? Ew! <laughs> this actually might hit. What okay. Is Just wait, let it cool off. Alright, round two. Alright guys, let's see if the keto Oreos... They might not look the prettiest, but it's all about the taste. For so. So, what are you texting me now? Yeah. It smells good. For sure. I wish it doesn't taste were, good. I wish that these were I prettier. Maybe you gotta make them more waterier. Water, watery. But water. I think part of like. What ta ta ta. I think part of the keto. What ta ta. The reason it, it like holds together is because of the texture. Mm. Like if it was, I mean. You put egg in it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very interesting. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna just throw this in like that. We'll see where this goes, guys. So, how many net cards do you think is in this? Um. Well, what, first of all, explain to the people what net carbs is. If you feel me. Okay, you explain to me. <laughs> So net cards. Wait, I'm can on. you get in? This is like weird. I'm on talking. screen. Let me go get yeah, in tonight. Yeah, it's like this is a voice. Man. Damn, hella tall. Right? Um, so net carbs is the total carbs minus the dietary fiber and also the, uh, I guess you want to say the uh, sweeteners or sugars that you choose to use. So if you're using uh, monk fruit, uh, I don't even know how you say it correctly. Elulose? 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 Whatever. Elulose? <laughs> I don't know, actually. Uh, the, that one, or any of the sugar alcohols, anything, you minus that out the total carbs. And with the dietary fiber, the to and not the total sugars, but the fake uh, sugar, how you ever want to say, the sweetener. Erythiol. Yeah, erythiol or whatever like that. You, you take those two numbers, add them up, and then you minus it from the total carbs, and that's how you come up with the net carbs. So mm. like on here, it tells you the net carbs. So Peace. the total carbs, 13, the dietary fiber is seven, and the erythiol is four. So from the total, you subtract how much fiber in the erythiol or lulose. Bro, are you saying that right? I'm close. I'm, I'm confused. <laughs> so you find the total net carb. You're going to have a total carb. That's how many carbs in total it has. But the fiber cancels out some of the carbs. And the erythiol or the artificial sweetener also cancels out. So if you have seven... If you have 13 total carbs, 7 grams of fiber, and 4 grams of erythiol, you subtract that from the total and your net carbs are 2. So we have about 2 net carbs per pancake. We're not really even using enough for one pancake. So you're getting like a carb in that. And then one cookie is... These are also plant-based and vegan. Bro, are we even saying the word right? No sugar <laughs> alcohol. <laughs> That's the real question about Um, it. one cookie would be about... Yo, wait, Jordan, look, look, this is how you say it. So, we're talking about erythritol. It's a sugar. Erythritol. Erythritol. Bro, Dr. Bird ain't never lied, bro. Erythritol. I, I don't really care, honestly. Come on, erythritol. <laughs> the lady's... <laughs> crazy. Erythritol. Erythritol. Look at that, look, wait, wait. So, everyone, so everyone can hear this from Dr. Bird. So, about erythritol, it's a sugar Erythritol, I don't know, I just pulled it up on Google, you feel me? How do you even sound cute? saying it right? I don't even sound cute. Erythritol? Imagine you went into the club. What do we say, Erythritol? Imagine you went into the club. You saw a girl, her name was like that. I don't remember what uh, deep fried oils even taste like. Oh my god, really? I haven't had them in a, I haven't had them in about like, since the season. They're like Twinkie, them. right? Basically. It's like, it's Twinkies. like, imagine us, you know how Oreos are like, hard? Kind of? Yeah. But like, so imagine like they're soft. It's like malleable. I'm scared. Okay, so the first ones are kind of a dub. I mean, they're still edible. It's just the 
it was too hot. That oil was too hot. But the last two, the one I'm taking out, these two look pretty solid. So those are the two I'm gonna have the boys try. I'll try whichever ugly one, I don't really care. I'm going to add a little bit of this Swerve powdered sugar, confectioner sugar. This is a sugar replacement um, to keep the sugar down. I really yeah. just made a fried freaking Oreo. Keto. Keto version. But keto. And it's like, obviously fried foods aren't the healthiest. Do we explain what keto is or we just keep saying keto? All right, so keto is a, it's a certain type of diet where you focus on getting your body into ketosis. It's a low carb diet. Low carb, high protein, high fat. High no protein, sugar. Low high sugar. fat, very low sugar. We like the fundamentals of keto, but we don't focus on getting to ketosis. We just like eating low carb, low sugar. So we eat a lot of keto snacks, but we're not technically keto. Um, and that's just how we try to maintain our health and cut down on certain things. And obviously we want to indulge, but if we can find life hacks to indulge that are still healthy, that is the way. If you can avoid fried foods, obviously that's better. But here and there, you need a fried Oreo. So the first ones are kind of a dud, but the last two look really good. So we might be onto something. I'm gonna go have them try it now. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous. Jordan and Minnesota made these Oreos uh, during the season. Mm -hmm. Fire. And like now I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> they were good. And I'm trying to figure out, I was like, we can get a keto fried Oreo. All right, guys, yeah. they're all done. Is that what you were making? Yeah, it smells great. I don't know how it tastes. Um, I think you guys should try these too. It looks oily. Nice. Oily? Who are you, Food Network? You better yeah. go eat one, bro. This looks good. <laughs> it smells like eggplant. 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 I don't even like eggplant. That's fire. <laughs> I got a big pop of oil though. Bro. What? I like it. It is fire. Tastes like french fries. Mm-hmm. Mm. What was the sugar you used? Swerve. It's fire. That's good. I think the, the burnt ones might taste better. Try it. Make me. <laughs> Try it. <laughs> it's actually really good though. Mm, so hold. maybe I need to like put it on a different. Um, Seven point five out of ten. So it just needs to be like put on like a drying rack so the oil can like drip out. You're good. Good job. The swerve is actually pretty good. Oh, what the fuck? Talk about oil. Look at you, bro. You're like a little kid. How this happen? I give this honestly for being keto and everything. Eight, eight and a half. Well, that's high. Really good. If it wasn't keto, I would honestly would have not really even. I would definitely have this more than. Yeah, before. for sure. I would for sure tell you if you. I would ask you after a game if you can make me this. For it's sure. pretty good. It's good. Tastes like the real thing, but not. It does. It's so good. The. the I want to have another. Weird. I want to have another one, but it's like, I still. We still gotta have dinner. <laughs> so I don't want to. Like, dinner. Dinner. Mm -hmm. Dinner. Bro, this is my appetite, bro. But this is so good. Eat this. This is your dinner. Bro, I'm trying to make these gains, bro. Big ab gang. No, eat all this. Ab gang. For me, it's a one and done situation. Like, You're not doing after this one? No, I'm just oh, one. After one, one, yeah. I mean, good. Look at it's this. really good, though. Ouch. I think we found another half, boys. Uh, that was nice. You did that. Jordan's kitchen. You did that, babe. All right, good call. Guys. I'm going to perfect oh, this recipe. Film? Oh, paparazzi! I'm gonna perfect, this, I'm gonna perfect <laughs> this recipe and then I will get back to you guys with the official recipe. Maybe we'll try with other pancake mix or whatever. But I, I have a concept. If it's not broke, don't fix it. So this recipe will be coming to you soon. This is fire. <laughs> this is really good. Actually. It's a good I had a like three already. <laughs> <laughs> Bro! Keto 
though, for those of you who actually are keto and you see this and you've been craving a dessert or something like, and you love fried Oreos. Oh, I've been looking at this Oreo right here like, damn Wait, what's wrong? Like right here, like damn girl, you look nah, sexy bro. I'm Sweet. gonna finish this one though. <laughs> yeah, okay. Bro, sexy girl, bro. Mm -hmm, the crunch. Mm. <laughs> Eat that fucking shit. Right? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> well, like and subscribe. Let me know if you enjoy this recipe. If you want more keto recipes. If you want that fried chicken keto recipe. I know I make chicken all the time on my channel, but you just can't go wrong. So. Yeah, and a special announcement is coming very soon. Hopefully, maybe I'll just treat you guys to a little sneak peek once I get 500,000 subscribers.